Hi, everybody. We're going to show you how to alter the love and lace gift envelope so that it could be a tag and you can change the wording on the tag using your Premier Plus 2 um, embroidery system. You need to either have it the extra version or the ultra version for this to work. You don't, it will not work with just the embroidery version. So the first thing we need to do is pull our design up. So in this case, I have this saved on this computer in the My Designs folder. I will go back to it. So I go to my Premiere Plus 2, My Designs. I have it in my Kimberbell folder. And I pull up the dealer exclusives, find the Love Lace envelope. I need to also find my correct format, which is VP3. And I'm using the little envelope. Um, I've already got my hoop pulled up, but if I wanted to change my hoop, I could go up here to the hoop icon, switch my hoop to the size hoop I want so that I can see better and work. Then I'm going to go to the Modify tab, and basically what that's going to do is show me the design and colors. What you want to do is we're going to delete out the fold lines and the word love. So over here on the right hand side, it's got a list of the colors. I want to keep the blue, so I'm going to uncheck the blue and it's going to go away. I also want to keep the red outline, so I'm going to uncheck that. So the only two colors I have checked are the green fold lines and the purple or magenta love. I, those are the ones I'm going to delete. So then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select all visible, select all visible, click on that and it's gonna select those two colors that I have selected and I'm simply gonna hit the delete key on my keyboard and you'll notice now I only have got two colors, the scroll and the outline. Then once I'm done modifying my design, I need to go back to the home tab. At this time, it's a good time to go in and uh, save your design so that you've got it, a base design saved. You would go to file and save as just make sure you remember where you save your design, that's important, and I would save it something like blank lace tag. Um, once I'm in here, I can then go in and add lettering. So I go to the letter tab, and in the letter tab, there is a whole script file. I would find the, the alphabet that I wanted to use. I use the Valencia. When you pick up an alphabet, you'll notice that there is a range well, this one is a 12 millimeter to 40 millimeter range. That's where you sort of want to stay as far as the size of your font is. So you would then go in, and actually the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to rotate my hoop because I want my words to go long wise. I'm going to go back to home and rotate my design. I'll go back to the letter tab, find my font, and we'll go and type my font in. Now, I want it to be a little bit bigger than that. Let's try a 30 and see what happens. I click apply and I scroll up. Now, right now, it's really hard to see. I'm gonna go over here to the left-hand side. Now, just because I pick a funny color, like I'm gonna pick a yellow, does not mean I'm gonna stitch it in that yellow. I just wanna make it so that I can see it. And right away, I noticed that I want this to be a little bit bigger. So instead of going back up to the top toolbar and redoing it, I'm just gonna right click on the words and go to the properties menu. When I go to the properties menu, it's gonna pop up so that I can adjust it. So I know I can go up to 40 millimeters, so I'm gonna try that first and see that eh, it's a little too tall. So I'm gonna go back into properties and I can keep going into properties and altering it. I want to make it a little bit longer and I also want to change the spacing between the words. There, just like that. That is actually perfect. So now that I've got it the way that I want it, I'm going to go back up to home. Yep, that's good. I'm going to go to file. Oh, let me go back to home, make sure it's centered. Uh, if there's a design on top of a design and you're having a hard time grabbing it, like I'm having a hard time selecting the words. If you're on a PC, you can hit the tab key and it will tab through your designs. I'm going to then go to alignment and I'm gonna center in the hoop. Oh, yep, good thing I did that. I was a little bit out of whack. I'm gonna to go to file. I'm gonna save as, 
And I'm gonna save as welcome home lace tag. And when I do that, it saves in the VP4 format. So that if I wanna edit it later, I can. But to stitch it out, I need to go back to file, go to export. Yes, I'm in the correct format. I want it to combine, I want it to remove the overlap, I want it to sort, and I want to stitch optimize. I'm gonna press okay, and it's gonna come up and it's gonna name it the same thing. Welcome home lace tag exported. And I'm gonna export that design. So when I go to stitch that one out or save that one to my USB stick, I wanna make sure I'm saving the exported one to my USB stick, not the VP4 formatted. If you take a VP4 formatted uh, design to your machine, your machine will not be able to read it or open it. So I hope this quick tutorial on how to alter ready-made designs was helpful. If you have any other questions, give us a call and we'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thanks, have a great day.